Okay, but let's talk brunch, Bill. We want to send things out to 7 Eyewitness News reporter Matt Bovey, who is standing by for us at Providence Social this morning. Matt, I understand that they, in fact, would be really pleased if this went through. Oh, absolutely, Ed, without question. So Providence Social here on Rhode Island opened up about three years ago, and since they've continuously grown, and a good reason for that is because of brunch. So with us this, with us this morning, we've got Josh. He's the owner here. So, Josh, just how important is brunch for your business? Well, uh, brunch is an intricate part of our business. Um, we started doing it day one uh, when we opened. Uh, that first week, Sunday, we were open for brunch. Uh, since then, we've opened for Saturday brunch because we've had such a great turnout, which has uh, you know upped our Saturdays immensely. But uh, brunch, yeah, we uh, I don't think we'd be surviving without uh, without brunch. It's uh, a, a three-hour window that uh, you know we can have 150 to 200 people come through our doors. So what's the difference then between Saturday and Sunday? Is Saturday busier because you can serve alcohol earlier? I'd say uh, you get people in here earlier. Uh, the bar is crowded or getting crowded by 10, 30, 11 o'clock. Uh, if they're not having cocktails or just having coffee, at least they can have the option to have a cocktail before noon. And that's really all you want is the option. All we're asking for is that. Uh, you don't have to be open on a Sunday. But if you want to be open on a Sunday, I'd like to be able to serve at 8, 9, 10 o'clock. How, uh, how, how they want us to do it, that's fine. We're always uh, you know, going to abide by their rules. But uh, you know, we'd like a little leeway. Awesome. Well, Josh, thank you so much for waking up with us. We're going to be talking to Josh all morning long. We're going to be checking back in from here on Providence Social. We've got a lot about the brunch bill right now on our WKBW app. We've really been following this along the way. So many different developments, but Ed and Katie, it really looks like we're going to find out more and see if this will happen sometime later this week. We'll send it back inside to you guys. Matt, thank you very much. Look, we were talking about this on our Facebook Live video this morning that we do every morning on our Facebook page, WKBW TV. Consider this. I mean, this is a huge business for restaurants. Absolutely. If you're buying a mimosa or a Bloody Mary, that's like 10 bucks a pop right there in some cases. And like he said, to get 100, 150 people in in just three hours, that's big business. Exactly.